Hey guys, Hi welcome guys. to our home in New York City. We're back. Yeah, here we are. Come on in. Today we are rating interior designers and television stars. Nate Burgess and Jeremiah Brent's West Village townhouse in New York City featured on Architectural Digest. So this is our parlor, as you can see. Every home we've reviewed in New York has felt small in the entry, so I love walking into the sitting room that's exposed to the vaulted ceiling behind you. If I walked in for the first time, I'd be so excited to explore this house. And that's what you want in a first impression. You don't want the, eh, I've seen this floor plan a thousand times. You want this. All right, have a nice quiet moment, but designing it was a disaster. <laughs> a it was ass. honestly like the worst experience of our design careers. There's three different entrances. Yeah, so where do you put no the wall. sofa? Where do you put the chair? I've been in those situations when you're dealing with the multiple entrance setup, but priority number one has got to be creating a centerpiece or some main focal point for the space. In this case, it's the fireplace wall, and then they're building out from there. Now, your second most important element is trying to avoid putting the backs of your larger pieces where the entrances are. Put your larger pieces in the most unobstructed spots and then fill in backwards from there. They've obviously done a good job. I mean, that's not a surprise. That's why Nate charges $2,000. Per hour, seriously. Room down here, they know what they're and doing. And you get this incredible volume. I think the coolest thing we did to this renovation was design and build this bookshelf. Mm -hmm. which I agree. These two-story bookshelves are by far my favorite part of the design so far. I'm also liking this honeycomb paint they chose. It's very cozy, calming, inviting. This works. We downsized from L.A., so basically this entire space would have fit into an eighth of our living room. Yeah, back in 2019, these two were living in a 9,000 square foot home in Los Angeles, but just felt like LA was no longer giving off the this is our home vibe. So they decided let's relocate 3,000 miles across the country to New York City, where they bought this 3,400 square foot townhouse in the West Village for almost 10 million bucks. They've since flipped it for almost 14 million, and they also sold the LA home for around $11.5 million. The boys are doing well with their real estate portfolio. Also, could you imagine financing $14 million at today's interest rates? Put four down, finance 10, 800 grand a year in interest? That's before tax, before principal, everything. One thing that we realized, uh, like most families, is that we basically live in the kitchen and it is such a luxury to be able to have a TV a hangout room that's open to the kitchen. So we've got the kitchen playing off the continuation of the honeycomb walls, but the one thing to consider with this palette is, and you'll notice it here, basically all of the furniture in this home has been some shade of cream. Down here, up in the parlor, pretty much every piece has been a cream except for maybe like one or two pieces. In this type of design, your colors are coming from the accents, the marbles, because everything's feeding into this earth tone palette. So if you want to incorporate a bunch of color in your furniture, this probably isn't the direction for you, but I like it. I think it's elegant. All right, come on in. <laughs> come on. Well, we can't use that take. Could have All used right. it, man. It's real life. Right. Well, then, great. Go. <laughs> Our bedroom is very serene, super thick carpeting. We've got all sort of monochromatic, this Matt Connors painting that we've moved from home to home. It's so cozy, everything has a purpose. I agree, it's another cozy room. That's pretty much how I'd summarize this entire house, cozy and warm. Although I'm not crazy about the ceiling fixture in here, but I do love this fluted fireplace wall. Basically, yeah, basically everything on this side of the room, it's a beautiful setup. Before it was just a marble mantle, so I worked with Camp Studios to really craft this shape and this silhouette, kind of inspired by the 1930s, and it's all hand-fluted plaster. We're really proud of the way it turned out. And let me show you how it works, because the mirror, which is centered, is actually only hung on half of it. Yeah, that's incredible. Oh, that's so cool. I need to make a note of that for future projects. That's smart. I love that. This room makes me so happy. It's like this bright, happy, cute land for Poppy. I think one of the most underrated aspects, or maybe underappreciated is a better term to use, but on these celebrity home tours, the kids' bedrooms have been so good. They've been some of the highest of highlights throughout these home tours, in my opinion, whether it's here, Hillary Duff's kids, Sienna Miller's daughter, the Padalaki's home in Austin, Texas. They're all really fun spaces, but also extremely sophisticated at the same time. They found that, that perfect balance. I still think Sienna Miller's daughter had the best kid's bedroom. If you haven't seen that house, go watch it after this. That whole house 
is straight out of a fairy tale. That was one of my favorites. Every night rolling around with the kids. We're just really grateful that we get to give this to her. This is the domain of little Mr. Oscar Brent Burkis. I love this bedroom. I think yeah. this is the cutest boys room on earth. All right, I'm ready to score this house. I feel like the word cozy has been said about a thousand times, so you already know it checks that box. But sometimes cozy can come off as old or kind of tired, but this house is far from that. It's extremely elegant, extremely sophisticated, while at the same time also being super homey and inviting. These two have found a great balance, so I'm gonna go with an, let's go with an 8-1. Eight, 8.1 one. 8 .1 stars, the score. I will say if this had an amazing outdoor space or view of the city, we'd be looking at a high eight, but without those elements, it's holding down the score a bit. Let me know what you think. But also, AD just dropped a new video with Nate and Jeremiah, so we're gonna go back to back videos reviewing their homes. Keep an eye out for that. Until the next video, hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video, bye. bye.